So now that the um, file has been downloaded uh, successfully here, we should be able to go ahead and do the upgrade. Uh, so we're going to click continue on here and as it states um, we're going to want to upgrade the uh, central management console first uh, so we're going to go ahead and upgrade the CMC we can see the version that it's going to install here um, let's go ahead and click install So we're just going to click through the, the wizard uh, just as it was when we installed version 9 um, from 8.5. Take all the default settings. Okay, now it's that the management console has been upgraded again. Um, we can go in here, log on to the management group. And now that we're in here, we're going to go ahead and do upgrade, uh, uh, click on the upgrade available because the VSA's um, the storage appliances now have to be be upgraded as well so I'm going to click continue here for okay so after you click continue it pops up with the uh, little warning message here just to uh, uh, verify that you do have uh, BT turned on. That's already turned on. We can go ahead and continue with the, the upgrade. Click install. So the first thing that the um, this process actually does is it starts the uh, process for copying the uh, installation packages to the VSAs, and we can see that down here at the bottom um, where it is within that that process, what percentage. Now, just a note, um, it will do the upgrades uh, one at a time for your VSAs so that you don't have any uh, outages within your within your environment so if we went to have um, a couple ESX hosts that are connected to this left hand array and if we went to the storage on there we should still have access to the storage create new folder just to show that we still have access to the um, to the volume that we have presented to this this um, these two ESX posts. Okay, now the upgrade is um, actually finished. Um, we say installation information. Uh, it looks like there has been no issues here. Click finish. So basically, that's it. Everything has been successfully upgraded as far as the software uh, goes with the CMC and the the VSA within this environment. Um, it should you should see pretty much the same screens if you're upgrading the the hardware appliances as well 
but make sure that if you're doing this in a production environment that you're following uh, HP's instructions which they have on the website.